So Amazon's brand new communication network goes live today. But did you know that all of your Amazon devices have now automatically been enrolled into this new network? You didn't know that? Well, did you know that they're now going to start sharing your internet bandwidth with your neighbors or really anybody in your neighborhood? Now, I suspect that many of you didn't actually know about this. And the big issue is this enrollment is enabled by default. So by default, it's opt in. But of course, you can choose to opt out. So in this video today, let me answer those key questions about Amazon Sidewalk, like what it exactly is. Can Amazon see what you're doing? what the security is like, and of course, how you can actually opt out of these features. So right from the top, what is Amazon Sidewalk? Well, the essence of Amazon Sidewalk is a massive, and I'm talking about millions of devices connected together in a mesh sort of network. Now, mesh networks are nothing new, and many people have them in their houses or offices, and it basically allows you to use nodes or pods to extend your Wi-Fi network. Now, in the case of Amazon Sidewalk, it's actually going to be your Ring devices, your doorbells, your Echo Dots, your Echo Shows. All of these devices will automatically form a mesh network. And what that essentially means is, let's say, for example, my neighbor has the Ring doorbell and he now has some internet connectivity issues or maybe his router or router crashes. Now, in this example, if I'm enabled for Amazon Sidewalk, his ring doorbell can now automatically piggyback off my network and use that to connect out to the internet. So great news for him that he can now continue using his ring doorbell or really any of his smart devices. But at the same time, he is now sharing my internet bandwidth. So that's really how Amazon are trying to sell this feature that you can now continue using your smart devices even if you have internet disruption. But just so many questions regarding security and privacy. And of course, the fact that Amazon have made this opt in by default. So many people don't check their default settings. And by default, this has now been enabled for all of those supported devices. Next up, we have what technology are they using for this mesh network or to create this large mesh network? Now, essentially, they're using a combination of Bluetooth and also 900 megahertz radio to communicate between the devices. And there's also some proprietary technology, which only Amazon knows about just to complete the network. And, and that also raises some questions regarding privacy, because if it is proprietary technology, then who is actually going to police or check what Amazon are doing with this massive network? Next up, we have what devices and what locations are supported. Well, I put the devices on the screen at the moment, but essentially it's all of these smart devices from 2019 onwards will be enrolled into this new mesh network. And as for locations, they're only starting this out in United States, but presumably with a successful trial, you can see them pushing this on to Europe and other parts of the world. Next up, we have how much bandwidth can be used by these devices on your network and if there's any data cap. Now, Amazon have been very clear about this, saying that there's a maximum throughput rate of just 80 kilobytes. So not a lot in terms of speeds, but it is still worth mentioning. On top of that, they've confirmed that all of the devices on your Amazon account, the most they can use in total per month is 500 megabytes. So again, it doesn't sound like a lot of data, but if there are people in certain parts of the United States where they don't have much bandwidth, or they don't have much data allowance, then why should Amazon be allowed to you know, use or share your bandwidth with other people down your road? So especially without asking or checking with you first. And that I really think is the crux of the issue. Next up, we have what are the actual benefits for Amazon Sidewalk? Well, as you can imagine now, you know, for people that do have you know, patchy Wi-Fi connection or they regularly have Internet issues, so if their neighbors have enrolled into Amazon Sidewalk, so in that situation, my Ring device can continue sending me motion alerts, or if I have any issues, I want to troubleshoot with the Ring company, because my device is using the Wi-Fi from my neighbor, they can help me with that troubleshooting because technically my device is still online, it's just using somebody else's Wi-Fi network. So in that way, you can see the benefits that in certain scenarios or certain situations, being a part of this massive mesh network does have some advantages. Which brings us to the final point, which is what are the real drawbacks or issues with the Amazon Sidewalk network? 
Well, a couple of things, really. I mean, firstly, just the fact that it's so new. It literally has gone live today on the 8th of June. And as with any new system, especially networking system, there's always bound to be, you know, challenges, you know, potential issues um, with so many devices all coming online at the same time. And with regards to security, because they are using Bluetooth and those at 900 megahertz radio signals, then just like any other wireless transmission technology, there's always vulnerabilities or new you know, issues found or people discover security threats. So you now have millions of devices and if there's any kind of vulnerability found, that's a lot of devices to potentially be impacted with anything that is discovered. And also the fact that Amazon have opened this up to third party developers. So even if we are very confident that you know Amazon does respect our privacy, does it or you know if amazon are you know pretty certain about the security who's to say once a third party developer gets on board has access to this mesh network who knows what they're going to capture or who knows what they're going to be looking at you can imagine with these smart devices you know they're listening to you they're taking pictures as you're walking past the ring doorbell there's just so much private data that could be potentially exposed to you know any third party developer or somebody with malicious intent so with these kind of reasons, it just makes so much more sense that Amazon should have done this as an opt-in. So, uh, yes, I love technology. I want to try the latest thing. So, therefore, let me opt into this new Amazon sidewalk network. But the way they've done it is, by default, everybody is automatically enrolled. And to be fair, you, but you can imagine if they ask you directly that, do you want to share your internet bandwidth with your neighbors or your neighborhood? everybody would just click on no. So this way they've done it as a default opt-in because it instantly creates that massive mesh network for them. So I personally think that everybody should opt out. Let's see what happens over the next few months. Make sure there's no major issues or teething issues. And then if you want to, you can then choose to opt in all of your Amazon devices. So let me now show you how you can quickly turn this off for every Amazon device in your house. So very easy to turn this off. And the great thing is, which could also be a disadvantage that you can't do this on a per device basis. So I can't, for example, say that my ring doorbell is enabled for Amazon Sidewalk, but my Echo Dot isn't. It's basically an all or nothing. So on your account, either you can disable it for all of your devices or enable it for them. So the way you disable it, so open up the Alexa app on your Android phone or your iPhone and click on account settings. When you do that, you'll then see this screen. Now we can see it says here Amazon Sidewalk, but when I did this on my device, because I'm based in the UK, I didn't actually see this option. So for me, it doesn't apply, but if you see Amazon Sidewalk in your list, then that means it is applicable for your devices and you have been opted in by default. So when you click on that, you'll then see this screen telling you some more information about Amazon Sidewalk. And we can see here, if you just click here, make sure the button is to the left, that then disables Amazon Sidewalk for all of your Amazon devices. So it is a very interesting concept, but I just think it's too early. It's more like an experiment and to have all of those million devices enrolled into this experiment, I just think it's a bit too early. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Please do leave me a comment below. Let me know if you did see this on your devices what you think about Amazon Sidewalk and if you're going to keep this option enabled. So do leave me a comment below and let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.